Aloha, my friends. This is Billy Wiggly coming at you live from the 9th Island, Las Vegas, Nevada. All right, that's a song I'm practicing right now. It's called uh, Woman by a band known as Koa Uka from Hawaii. So how's everybody doing today? Are we ready to rock? Let's get into it. Last last live stream what we ended up doing is we learned how to do some formatting that's what we're covering today we're going to cover some formatting methods so let's go right ahead and get us to the point where we left off last last stream so i'm going to press control a to select that range of data i'm going to go into my view tab and i'm going to zoom to selection i'm going to right click i'm going to change the font types to calibri and then i'm going to format that top row, control B to bold, right click to fill. I'm gonna go right ahead and center right there. I need more options, so I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna middle the line. Then let's go right ahead and control A again. Let's do some borders. I'm gonna do borders, all borders on the inside, and I'm gonna do thick borders right on the outside. So here we go, just like that. Ba boom, all right, and then we've got these company names are different. So when you're formatting, you want to make sure that you highlight certain things and and direct the viewers, the users' attention to certain areas. You want to make sure that everything is clear. You don't want to leave no doubt in anybody's mind. So I want to highlight these companies to make sure that you know it's clear that you know these are separate. Now the font is going to be the white color. There's a good contrast between those two. And then now for the lesson for today is we've got this range of data and we want to make it clear. We can assume that this is currency that we're talking about, but let's not assume. Let's clarify. Let's leave no doubt. Let's make it easy on the user to identify. Okay, this is currency. Now, what type of currency is it? Is it Chinese yuan? Is it Swiss francs? Is it US dollars? Is it English pounds? Is it pesos? And if it's pesos, what pesos is it? Is it pesos from Mexico or pesos from Colombia? Where is it from? Having a sip of iced coffee in your honor while you think about it. So whenever we're gonna find format currency, what we can do is where do we go to do any formatting? Where are all our formatting options in the ribbon? Which tab? That's right, the home tab right there. So we're gonna go right into the home tab. And inside the home tab, we see that we have some options here. We can click on the drop down in the numbers group right here. So we got a couple things we're gonna cover. We're going to talk about this drop down. We're gonna talk about that currency tool right there. And we're also going to talk about the dialog box launcher to find more options in there. Now, if I go right ahead, let me uh, press Control F1 to open up the ribbon. Control F1, open up the ribbon. Come on. All right. So now we're back into our numbers group. And so when I click on the drop down here, we see that we have currency and accounting format that we can choose from right there. So what's the difference between those two? Now, check this out right here. This tool right here, that's the accounting number format. That's all that it does. And when we click on the drop down, now look at all these additional options that we have. We've got US dollars, we've got English pounds, we've got euros, yuans from China, and Swiss francs, and then more accounting formats. Let's just press some buttons. Now, if I just wanted to use just the accounting format, and right now, because I am in the US, I just use by default the US. So then when I just press my accounting number format, you see how it, what's going on right here? That's right, the column is not wide enough. So what we do is we select the column that we wanna auto fit, and then we just double click on the edge of the column and it auto fits everything. So what you see right here is we've got the accounting method. And in the accounting method, what happens is the dollar sign is always lined up all the way 
to the left. So you're always going to have your symbol, your currency symbol perfectly lined up. Now, whenever you do the currency methodology, the currency methodology is not going to align the numbers. Now watch, I'm going to make this one 500, make this one 20, that one's fine. And then this one, 15,897. And now you notice that the currency symbol is not lined up perfectly, right? You see that? So that's the currency method. So the difference between the currency and the accounting methodology is just where the currency symbol, where the symbol lines up. In the accounting methodology, the symbol lines up perfectly. Let me go ahead and control Z to undo some of this. This, whoa, let me demonstrate right here. Okay, I'll put another one right here. So let's use the accounting method and watch everything line up. Boom, you see the currency symbol is perfectly lined up right there. And if I was to switch over to the currency method, the symbol is right next to the number. So that's the difference between currency and accounting. You want whatever currency symbol you have, whatever monetary symbol that you have, you want to go right ahead and you want it to line up, you go with the accounting method, right? And the accounting method is easily just this button right there. You just press, but what if these are, what if these are euros? Well then just press euro and there you have the euro. Okay. And then the euro, we can have switch the euro over to currency. Whoops. That's not how we do it. This one strictly is going to be for the accounting method. All right. So let's go ahead and put it into the accounting method for euros. Now I want to go to the currency method for euros. To do that, I need to go into more options. So there's two ways. One way is I can just launch the dialog box launcher, or I can just right click in my selection and go to format cells. And then once I'm in format cells right here, we can just change the symbol. We can say, hey, we want it to be currency euro right there. All right, and then we press OK, and there we have it. That's where you would have to change it. So that's where we go right ahead and adjust our currency. We can use the currency method, or we can just use the accounting method. Let's see what the Chinese yuan looks like. Yeah, there we go in the accounting method. Nice. Ni hao. That means uh, hello in uh, Mandarin. Everybody knows that. Yeah, how do you say thank you? Shit, shit. What job, Billy? Ni ma. It's pretty cool. You got to go visit China when you get a chance. All right. So now we know about currency. We know that there's a lot of different methods that we can choose from. And then now finally, what if you want to align angle the text, for example? You don't want the, the, the header row to be perfectly straight like that. You want the, the company name angle that... Uh, 47.8 47 degrees well how would you make how would you angle this text how would you angle it to 47 degrees or whatever degrees you're asked to do it at if you're thinking alignment well then you're thinking the right way when we go up into our alignment group right in our alignment group I want you to notice something pretty cool look right here you see that? Aha, uh -huh, yeah. That's looking like it's gonna be able to angle some text for me. Well, let's just check it out then. Let's click on this drop down and look. Oh, all right, angle counterclockwise. Let's check it out. We've got the header row selected. We're gonna angle counterclockwise. Oh, that's cool. That's a uh, vertical text. Ooh, there we go. Let's try rotate text down. There we go. How about the just uh, angle clockwise. There we have it. All right. So we've got a, we know where to find the alignment now. We just go to our alignment group and then we use the text orientation tool to adjust the orientation. But we wanted 47 degrees. How can we do 47 degrees? 
Well, let's look. There's always more options. There's two ways to do it. We can we can go right into our dialog box right here and go into our alignment set settings. Click and that's going to open up the format cells dialog box and it opens up see format cells dialog box and it's opened up right up to the alignment tab because we launched the dialog box launcher from the alignment group just like that so now we can see that right here we have a tool where we can just grab this handle right there and we can move it in whatever direction we want or we can just go right ahead and type in there the number of degrees that's one way to get there. Another way to get to that area is we've made our selection where we want to change the orientation. We can right click, go to format cells, and there we are, just like that. So now let's go ahead and change the orientation. Let's go to 47 degrees. So we can just type in a 47, just like that. And there it is going to be at exactly 47 degrees. Isn't that cool? You see all the shortcuts that I'm using, all these, all these tools, all these techniques that I'm showing you, they're designed to help you lay a good solid foundation so you can keep building on these skills, keep improving your lifestyle. And whenever you end this, whenever we end this session right now, I want you to go ahead and go or go right now. Go to don'tgetmadgetskills.com right there. And then you can click on this tab right here, coming soon. And inside the coming soon, it's going to take you right to the new course that I'm about to release. It's a shortcuts, tips, and tricks course. Nothing but shortcuts, tips, and tricks. I'm going to have it ready this week for you. Go right ahead and click on Make Me a VIP today so that you can be registered for that course. It's going to be absolutely free. It's my gift to all of my YouTube subscribers. So if you're watching this video, you're not subscribed to this channel, just go right down to the subscribe button, subscribe. Click on the bell icon so you get notifications whenever I do my live streams. I try to live stream every single day. It's not exactly somewhere between 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and noon Pacific Standard Time. The time varies depending on how inspired I am and what you need to know. So my friends, remember to come to don'tgetmadgetskills.com or just look in the description right down below. There's a link that will bring you right to this page. And as always, if you're watching this as a recording, make sure that you check out the videos that are going to appear all around here and watch last week's live stream where we started formatting all of our data. Thank you very much, my friends. And as always, remember, I love you. Keep on learning. And remember, don't get mad. Get skills. Aloha.